Oh, I get to hug flowers today. Hug a plant today. <laughs> They took care of everything and they I still got honey the for sale. We could have went and got honey, honey from my old house. Hi guys, today I'm in Michigan. Let me show you what I did. <laughs> Look at that. I came to Michigan and bought more flowers. Look at how pretty these are. I have some petunias here. I don't know what kind they're called, but I also, what did she call these super bells? And I also have these super bells. Isn't it beautiful? Do you know how big that got last year? Where did you get them from? That place is fantastic. Mm -hmm. I don't. I don't think I've ever seen salvias in this color. Mm -hmm. Oh, they have them in a blue color too. Oh, gorgeous. how pretty! So I thought that purple would really, like, on the bottom, would really accent it. You know what you need? What? You need pink under that to I make the pink. purple. Are those pink ones? These are pink, pink and purple. Perfect. So there you go. Perfect yeah. place until you decide what to do with it. It's kind yeah, of I sheltered. Just it in the burlap, and I just put it there. We had two of them. We pulled the one out to you over the fall. Thanks, Rocco. <laughs> okay, so this is where you planted the, uh, what did you say, daffodils? Um, da uh, daffodils. Daffodils where you ever see the dirt. That's what we did. We and you know, oh, you got honeysuckle she back here. Back there. Whatever. Whatever, it's okay. What do we have? Honeysuckle. What's that? These are honeysuckles. Never knew. Yeah, when we were kids, you could pull the flowers off and suck the honey out of the stems. Really? Mm -hmm. That's what we used to do. Yeah, my cousins had it next to their pool when they lived on Wilshire in Detroit. We just put this back here. It was up there. That's and a good put, place for it. He's going to build a thing to put the extra wood on. Right, Tone? Are you building a thing, Tone, to put the extra wood in? I don't know what I'm going to do yet. Okay. What yeah. you'll see next year, too, is when those come to bloom, most of the grass probably will not be here. It might die down, right? Will that die oh, down yeah, in the winter? Yeah. So that way, when they come into bloom... So you won't see it, yeah. Yep, you, they won't be hidden by oh, that. My so iris the is... is all, I was trying to dig where there was open. So yeah. That's where the bats are. Right? What color are these? Any color. Oh, look, here you go! Oh, I got You got one that's going to be opening soon. <gasps> look right here, too. Yeah. Oh, nice. Uh, yeah. I just... Oh, look at this one. This one's even got Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> oh, they're all dark purples. Nice. Um, this one oh, these look really nice in here. Yeah. I just ran. I just wanted color. No. Yeah. Yeah. looking for today is I need two pots. All right, these are the ones we want, Lana. Let's get one green one. You want to get just one of those? And one blue one. These are not $58. More like $7.98. All right, you got them? Got them stacked there? Good job. Let's just look at the annuals really quick before we walk out. Solotias. I just don't care for those. Look at how pretty some of these are, Lana. Look how pretty. See, I don't like those striped flowers, but look how pretty that looks with all the other solids. Oh, look at that. Both sun annual. This is called... What? Six plus hours, easy care. Low watering once established. Spring, summer, fall, it blooms. Look at the size of that. So if I put that in there and one of each, this might be a really good guy for us. Oh, look at these. Look at how established these already are. What do you think they're charging for the giant ones here? Giant tomatoes. 
twenty dollars is that just twenty dollars big beefs twenty dollars oh man i just don't know that's not a today one i need to think about that and how and these are three for ten i don't know if i bought tomatoes this is what i would be buying that's a think one though i don't know if i want to do that today so let's go grab these two annuals over here lana and then we could check out Look at the pretty waterfall though. This is something I love about Lowe's. It's like these beautiful water features that they put out here. I like the way that they give you suggestions on how to plant them and how to layer it. You know, and yeah, we're down here in the south. It's all about whiskey. How many of these do we have? We got one. And two. Those look good, don't they? All righty. Good morning, guys. Um, I never know what to say when I quite start these videos, especially because I'm jumping in in the middle because you've already seen that I was in Michigan, right? And you, I didn't, you know, no. This is different from last week because look at this, guys. This is going to be my very, my very first day lily here. Because last year they just, it was like just uh, plant growing. They were building their strength underground there. And this is the first year that they're going to bloom. And look, I got one coming in here. Oh my God. Oh, look, you guys. Look at them all. I'm going to trim some. Oh, I'm going to just pull some of these up because I'm just standing right here now. So I don't need those in my garden, do I? You saw one over there. Yeah, let's get that out too. Because you weed when you're in front of the weeds and then you never have to make a point of doing it later. There we go. But um, yeah, we talked about those last week and we talked about, we didn't talk about the purple hearts, but this is doing well. It's not starting to bloom yet though. This one here, my hostas, look at this guys. My hostas are starting to get blooms. Oh, oh, look, I'm so happy. Everything is starting to bloom. These are, these are the cone, um, some ombre type of cone flower. They're in this shade of purples and pinks and I'm seeing something over there. I don't know what it is, let's look. But, uh, but anyway, these are not far from blooming. So that's what these are. This is a black-eyed Susan. And I got a surprise plant growing in here with purple leaves. I'm not sure what that is, but I think I'm going to let it go and see what happens. Black-eyed Susan, black-eyed Susans. Those are not blooming yet. Okay, and we know all the autumn joys. Here's my first black-eyed Susan that's actually got a bloom kip kicking in. And these are the other cone flowers here, which are oranges and pinks, those ombre ones. The hostas on this side are starting to bloom as well. They're not quite as far as the other ones, but they do get more shade. So maybe that's part of it. But let's talk real quick about the salvias. Look at that. This was just last week I trimmed these, just last week. And one week later, they're all getting blooms again. And I love them because you get these pink flowers and purple ones on the same plant. I mean, what a treat. But every single one of them, look at that, has got flowers on it. And the showstopper this week, hi, that's my shadow, hello people, is um, my, popsicle, my popsicle plants. I mean, I just love these things. I've never seen these, not in Michigan at least. Um, but look at that one. The orange ones are starting to bloom here. But this one here was one I bought from the store. So it was ahead of the ahead of the game. Oh, and it's kind of shutting when I do that. And this one from last year is getting a bloom too. So look at that, you guys. Oh, I'm like so happy with the success that I'm seeing here. All right, so let's do a quick review of the plants I'm gonna put in containers here. This is one of the ones, um, these ones are the ones I brought home from Michigan and they got two verbenas here and this is obviously petunia and it is called a veranda rose moon. I have two pots so this is going to be in one of them, this is going to be in another one and I thought it would be really nice to have a tall one as well. I think these are really going to bush out but I wanted something tall in the center. 
this is an Angelina. I have never planted these before either, but it's supposed to bloom all summer. We'll see how it goes. I'm gonna get busy. All right, so I have a broken branch here, so. I'm just gonna take it off so it doesn't take any of the energy away from the growth. You can see there's plenty of room for three, so we'll have one, two, three. Oh, I get to hug flowers today. <laughs> oh, I know. <laughs> Look at them, they're all ready to be planted. I have to add a little bit more dirt in here. Oh my god, I'm so happy. Oh my god, look at this. I mean, look at this. Susan! Oh, look at what I did with our flowers! And I know you're loving this part too. Oh my god, look how beautiful. Look how beautiful. And then I get to go and rearrange the porch and see how it all fits together. Oh my God, I'm so, so pleased. I'm so pleased. Look at that. Oh. Next pot. Hug a plant today. <laughs> Do I? Here we go. I imagine there's some of you that think this is too monochromatic, too much pink, but I beg to differ. Uh, what's beautiful about these is they have this beautiful white and lime green or chartreuse in the center. I think that's a nice breakup of the color. And then we got the pink, purple, and whites on these. So I think those little white bits are going to be a really nice contrast. So just, God, look at this. My God, I got to stand back and see it like you guys. Look at how beautiful. I'm going to go ahead and put these down on the balcony or the front porch and feed them some plant food. Just look at those, they're stunning. Now I have to figure out what is the best way to arrange them. It doesn't look too bad, does it? All right, let's go look at it from the other angle. All righty. See, this, are, this is those cannas, so that's a review for you also. I planted this last week, Tuesday. This is one week, one week of growth. I'll do a comparison photo of last week to this week for you. All right, so here we go. I just put my jalapeno plants down here for now. The sun's going to pop out in an hour, and they're going to get mostly sun here. So this might be a really good spot for them, at least until I have to start rearranging plants again. So I have my cone flowers here. Why don't we just do one on each step? There we go. Then I have these two coleuses. They're gonna get huge. I may end up moving them against this wall. The peppers might go over there too. I don't know yet. But look how pretty and full it looks, you guys. Those lantanas are doing gorgeous, growing so quick. I mean, what a pretty, I'm just, oh my God. I, I'm in love with these flowers, you guys. I, I'm kind of beyond words. But we have a lantana. We have a coleus here. We have my new arrangement. Coleus lantana, new arrangement, and coleus. So we have the opening bordered, you know, um, balanced here with the two. Oh, God, I can't wait, you guys. I don't even have words for this. Oh, I'm just going to go and soak in the beauty. Since I'm already out here, it's already like 80 degrees and humid. It's not even 930 in the morning yet. I figure I might as well see if I can do something with those begonias that have been kind of stalemated for me. So I'm gonna repot those in something different. Maybe I'm not, maybe I'm just gonna leave them as they are. Then I could put them on the porch. I'm trying to figure out what to do. Let me show you. These are my begonias. Um, they're not dead, but 
they're just they've this is all that they've done for a whole month there's been really no growth this is the first baby that i've seen on here i'm not even seeing any ball oh well maybe there's one here anyway it's very minimal growth i think this container might be better used um if i get some vegetables or something which i thought about doing and i've thought about tomatoes also but i'm undecided all i know is i don't want to keep them in this anymore I mean, they don't even have a root ball on them. I don't know, you guys. I'm not happy with that. Even when it's full, it's going to be wimpy, and I feel like I'm wasting a plant. Maybe I just cram them all in here and hope for the best. I think that's what I'm going to do. That would be one, two, three. Look at how small this pot is, and I got four of them in here. I hope they grow so big I regret doing this. This is going to go on the front porch in a minute. So I have three left. I really wanted these to do well because I have so much shade on the porch, but I don't know. I, I, I really don't know. I don't have a lot of luck with begonias or annual wool geraniums. And from time to time I try them and you know, and I'm always disappointed, but I don't want to just throw them out because they're still healthy green plants. And so I'm just going to try something different and you know, cross my fingers. Let's see. All righty, I'll see you on the porch. Well, that's what it's going to be. I know you, Susan, you are hating this because there's just two of them and not three. I know how you are with your even and odds. <laughs> I don't know how to fix this right now. Um, but I will do better because I agree with you. Just the two of these here look stupid. It will look better. All right, Sue. So I can pull my fake one out here to anchor these baby ones here. So what do you think about that? It looks a lot better, right? Considering, considering. So let me give you another view. If you were walking up the stairs, it would look like this. And that's kind of hard to move over because it's not quite level there, but at least it's a grouping of three instead of just two lonely ones sitting here.